struggle, it took another twist when the war veterans caught up with what many of you in your various ways may have seen, which may have maybe we took longer to see that this regime had taken a very wayward and disastrous turn. When we wanted to show to this regime that we, the fighters who brought Mugabe and Zanukiev to power, we are not happy. We were victims of violence which, the, which, which, which really hit the conscience of all Zimbabweans. You know that two years ago we were tear gassed and we were, we were water cannoned by the Zimbabwe regime. It was a painful occasion. We want the people who did that to be still accountable in the fullness of time. But what it also did is it opened the eyes of the Zimbabwe people as to the extremities to which this regime would go to try to maintain its, its power. We told you that with the press conference, we said the regime is fired because of what it has done. I'm glad to say your turnout on Saturday actually <coughs> signed the firing uh, warrant to the regime. After that, there was no going back. So we are very happy that we became, we and the people are on the same page. And that's why we are bringing some of the people, who have, some of the Zimbabwean figures, who may not be well known to everybody, but we have been bearing the brand in the streets of the persecution. When they tried to turn the police force, they turned the police force against the people. And if they tried to make it a new army within an army, you know Guti Kuchikurubi, Gondo Arishai was now being turned into a paramilitary army against the other army, our army, the one which was created by the G40. They were the ones who were being beaten in the street. So we, are, we, we want to say we are very happy to be on one on the same page with the people. Uh, we are saying we are also very happy that ZANU PF as the ruling party is, take, is taking it upon itself to, to, to Jetson Mugabe and actually bring in a new leader. It's a very welcome move by the ruling party. We are also very happy with the MDC that in all the things which are being done now, including the impeachment process of Mugabe, they are working together because these two political parties are the ones who have the repository of your will and building across the road at Parliament building. We hope that that unity between the two political parties works so that the constitutional process which may be required to make Mugabe go can be executed with speed so that he leaves office. But we, as the people of Zimbabwe, the war veterans, we are not waiting for the constitutional processes. We are saying to Mugabe, smell the coffee. Your time is gone. Your time is gone. If, you, if a few years ago, a few months ago, you were 100%, you have become 80, 60, now 40, maybe 20%. Now maybe you are at 10% going to 0%. Please don't go to 0%. Use your dignity. You have ruled long enough. Throw in the towel. Let the country start be given a clear and unmistaken signal that it can start on a new page. You are the biggest hindrance now to the country moving on to the stage. Yes, we welcome that you have now made an overture to your former vice president. We want to thank the generals who continue to play this brokering role. First of all, they defended against uh, you against they defended the people against the extremes of this regime. They moved proactively, and the, you know, the army removed the, the you know, in a role which should have been done by the CIO, and the police was able to be done by the army, and it was not a coup. It was a corrective measure. Now our generals have gone further, they defended, they allowed you to demonstrate on Saturday to show Mugabe that his time is gone. That was very positive. Furthermore, when some elements who were obviously angry wanted to move against Mugabe on Saturday, the army moved quickly to protect him and disabuse the world that the army is playing a, a cool role against Mugabe. They to protect him from being accused to be a detainer of Mugabe, the army became a protector of Mugabe. That's what the People's Army should do. So we continue to salute the defense forces for that role. We are also encouraged by the new role where they've done, where they've become an honest broker between Mugabe and his erstwhile vice president. 
it's again a very positive thing on the part of the army, which they are discharging on the, to the people of Zimbabwe, and their continued maintenance of order in a very difficult situation. We are very happy with that. But these are institutional processes which have been going on, and they should continue to go on. But we, the people of Zimbabwe, as we showed on Saturday, we want Mugabe gone. Please don't continue to burden the army, the institutions, the parliament, and all the other. You know, the priests who are negotiating, uh, the Charambas who are negotiating, the Mkonoros who are negotiating. Please let them go and sleep by simply resigning. Your role is up, Mugabe. Resign and go and let this country start on a new page. This is the message we have. What we want, gachi and done. Yes, there's, no, there's absolutely no reason why you, when you have ex expressed your intention to go. You still drag your feet on going. You have expressed your intention to go. Please let your feet move you forward. Don't continue to drag. They should not stick in the mud. Mugabe should go. His mind is at going. He should go now. No. That's all we want. Yes. Uh, intention and action must coincide now. He must go. Yes. That's all we want. If he doesn't go, we shall be calling upon the people again of Zimbabwe to come back and show him the door. Yes. We will bring them back, the same people who came on Saturday, but this time we will be appealing to everybody in Zimbabwe to come so that they show him that the whole people of Zimbabwe wanted him to go yesterday. We are also appealing to Sadak chairman, <laughs> President Zuma and his colleagues in Sadak to use all their good offices to make sure that this man is given marching orders as soon as possible so that Zimbabwe can start on a new leaf. The economy is in a dire state. We are all suffering. All these vendors, they don't want to be in the street. They want to be doing something much more productive. They can only do that when an economy starts ticking. And the economy starts ticking when there is a new political dispensation. We want a political, new political dispensation immediately yes. so yes. that the economy can start. <laughs> and it cannot be held to the hostages of Mugabe and his whims. We have ruled for 37 years. We don't want you another 37 seconds. Please go away. Go, go, go. <laughs> So we wa we want we want regional diplomacy to bring some com some sense into Mugabe. But we are also appealing to the African Union, which was wobbling, to come back to the fold and support whatever regional diplomacy can make Mugabe quickly go. We want to retire the presidents, Anakawunda and Beni Mkapa, Shisanos and everybody, same Joma, please come and tell your colleague of yes, that his time is up, he must go. Okay, that's what we want. We saw the OIU, the IU must support that position. We are also appealing to the Secretary General of the United Nations to use, good, use his good offices, again through the normal channels, particularly through the Chairman of Sadaq, President Zuma, to impress upon him Zimbabwe that the international community wants him gone yesterday. He has had his, you know, his, his time many years addressing the United Nations. He, we don't want him to think that he can go there again no more. He must now leave the state to another Zimbabwe leader. That's what we want. Let the country start on a new leave. So the global community, please impress upon Mugabe to go. We want the major powers of the world, including those in the Security Council, to have a, send an unmistakable and unanimous signal among them to say Mugabe must go because we, 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 want, we want the voice, we want the global youth voice to be unison. He used to go to the Pope to Rome saying he's a Catholic, Mr. Uh, Reverend, the, 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 the Pope, you are a very important man, you know, uh, you must impress upon Mugabe that he's a good Catholic, he has an obligation to live now. Yes. He must live. And we are pleased to all Catholic, Catholic Christians. Please pray and press upon your bishop to say your ilk in, fellow, in, 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 in religious belief, in the religious practice in Mugabe, should live. So the ta Catholic Church should issue an unequivocal statement today to say Mugabe, live, 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 go. go. But we also want
want all the other Christian churches. We want the Reverend Ndanga, who was uh, with his wife Eddie, to go and tell uh, the, his, his congregation and tell Mugabe, I made a mistake to come on to you on Saturday for that Saturday, Sunday or whatever. He, Mugabe, can you please go, Reverend Ndanga? Yeah. Uh, please don't. We don't want any of these people to be victims like President with uh, Reverend Ndanga. It happens. Some people, you know, make mistake at the last minute. We want to be tolerant. We are all Zimbabweans. So don't please pillory him for what he did. All we want is him, he has turned over a new leaf. He must tell Mugabe to go. We want a, a national unison, unison uh, voice to say Mugabe must go. A regional unison voice, Mugabe must go. An international, a global unison voice, Mugabe must go. And must go now. In fact, he must go yesterday. That's what we want. This is the message which we, the war veterans, because we want the country to start on a new leaf. Yes. By the same token, we are aware of individuals who are mailing around Mugabe, trying to stop him from going. First, we are very happy about the Zimbabwean cabinet. They all refused to go to his cabinet yes. meeting. Post. Yes. Because they expelled him, he is no longer the leader of the party. Yes. So their party says he is no longer the president, so they didn't go. There were a few stragglers. I understand the Ima, who is related to Grace by marriage, but you know, they were now making it into a dynasty. This country which was fought for. So Ima went there, we understand Made, uh, you know, you know, he, you know how Made is. Yes. He likes yes. political sense. <laughs> yeah, you know, he likes political common sense. We had he went there. And we heard that there was a Bwembe also related by marriage. He, you know, to who went to the who tried to go to that cabinet. But by and large, everybody refused to go. We must applaud those Babuans. So even from his own cabinet, Mugabe is no more mandate. He's finished. Yes. So that's why we're saying smell the gold. We should go. Yesterday, I happened to pass through parliament to see the speaker. All ZANU PF MPs were at ZANU PF headquarters moving the motion that Mugabe should be impeached. And we want to applaud them for making that decision. Yes. But there was one lone MP who was there, a, a lone minister who was not there. It was Bonongo, the Minister of Justice. He was trying to persuade Mugabe to call for a cabinet to pass the budget, trying to prevail upon the speaker. We are saying, Comrade Bonongo, you are a comrade. I know him when he was my junior at St. Augustine's. We know him, he followed to the war. We know him that he is trying to play a role which is contrary to what the other ministers and MPs are doing. Comrade Boyongwe, stop it. After all, after all, when we want to make a review of our present problem, the most important eye of the government is the CIO. And until recently was the leader, he was the director general of the CIO. All the road which have forced you people of Zimbabwe to suffer so much, the CIO mm -hmm. should have been vigilant. Mm -hmm. All the problems which have finally forced the army, which is normally just there to protect the borders, to intervene in national politics to correct, would have been corrected if CIO had done its job, mm -hmm. if the police had done its job. You were derelict with on duty Ponyongwe as Mugabe was. If you want, we can go further and begin to ask why you were derelict on duty. Yes. And we have reason. Yes, 